everybody, welcome to Cheers, y'all. It's been a really long time since I have seen you guys and left you with something new to try. The other day, I was at one of my favorite little, little bars um, and the bartender said, so what you making now? And I realized that um, I haven't been sharing what I have been making. And it may be surprising to you, but I have started making varieties of champagne cocktails. And that's really, I know that's kind of boring, but that's all I've been making. So I'm gonna share with you guys one of my favorite champagne cocktails that I've been making. You know, champagne cocktails are very light. So, you know, you, you can sip on just champagne with a sugar cube in it, um, you know, a bitters soaked sugar cube. This one is just kicked up just a little tiny notch, but it's really beautiful. I don't even know what to call it. You know, we could call it sunset, champagne cocktails, sunrise, champagne cocktail, something like that, because it looks like the sun. Here's what you need to make this. You need just a slice of grapefruit, about a half a slice, half a slice of grapefruit. You need just a tiny bit of Aperol, and I'm glad you only need a tiny bit, because I only have a little tiny bit, but you'll need Aperol. You will need bitter orange, cat head bitter orange vodka, and then you'll just need this cheap Brut Champagne. Um, as long as it's good and drinkable, that's all you need for champagne cocktails, right? Because you're adding stuff to it. So the, the taste of the champagne itself, you know, it does not need to be five star. All right, to this cocktail shaker full of ice, I'm going to just squeeze that one half of a slice of grapefruit. There's a lot of juice in this, y'all. So that's why I say you only need a little bit of grapefruit, because wow, that's a lot of juice. And then I'm just gonna throw that in there, okay? Now we're gonna add a half ounce of the Aperol, okay? Just a little Aperol, it's a little bitter. We don't want too much. Next, we're gonna have, um, we're gonna add one ounce of the Cat Head Bitter Orange. Then we will put the top on and shake it up. And then we have a champagne flute and we will strain. All right, see how pretty that is? Oops, kind of like the sun. So we have this and what do you think we're gonna add to it? Yep, we're gonna add that brute champagne. So this actually is my favorite part and I'm so glad that I had to open a new bottle of champagne for this. Okay, my favorite part. Alright, so to this, we will add our bubbles. And that's it, y'all. That was really simple. And I'm telling you, I know what this one tastes like. It is really good. So, happy fall, y'all. Cheers, y'all. Mmm.